tips for using microcopy to improve your user experience. That's what I'm talking about today on the Biz Chat. Hey there, I'm Kyle Racky, and today I'm talking about microcopy. Even if you haven't heard the, the name microcopy before, chances are you've seen it whenever you've used any kind of digital product, an app, software, a website. It's the little bits of copy that you see in error messages, navigation, uh, maybe onboarding tutorials, any, any piece of text that's in an app, that's what microcopy is. And the reason we're talking about it today is because I think there's a lot of confusion around who should write it, how should it be written. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about our experience with microcopy and some of the things we've learned. So the first thing is that whenever you're using microcopy, the question is whose job is it to actually write this? You know, you might have marketers on your staff who are used to writing ads and landing pages and uh, promotional emails. They're not quite used to working within software, so sometimes best practices on an ad or a landing page don't necessarily translate as well when a user's already in your product. And then on the other hand, people who are writing it are often designers or do developers who are actually building the product, and they don't always uh, know the best guidelines either when it comes to writing copy that actually uh, works properly and helps somebody use your app more effectively. So that's what I'm gonna go through today. So the first thing to keep in mind when it comes to microcopy is that it's really there to serve a purpose, which is to help people understand how to use your product. So it's not there to sell. And this is where sometimes I think, again, marketers can sometimes uh, take sales copy practices and, and put that into a product. And so the, the copy con comes across a little bit too salesy more like it's trying to convince you to use the product as opposed to just helping a user who's already sold. Um, the other thing is that it's really there to alleviate fears. So the example I'll give you is uh, on upgrade. Um, so often in a SaaS product, you might get to a point where it says upgrade now or uh, upgrade your plan to use this feature. And if you're putting the label upgrade now in your button, but it actually is just taking you to a plan page where you can then select the plan, it's better off to use something in the buttons label such as see plans and pricing, or you'll need to upgrade to use this feature, but see, your, see plans is the call to action. The reason being people are afraid to click on things in apps. So if you're using words that make them feel like it's going to say send uh, an email to their whole subscriber list when it's really just taking them to the next screen, you want to make that really clear in your copy and you don't want to use words that will freak them out and make them afraid to click the button. The thing to keep in mind when you're writing microcopy is to think about the context. Where is the user right now in their journey? And so to think about the where, the when, the, the why. So why is somebody on this page of your app? What are they looking to do? What goal are they trying to reach? Where, where were they before this and where are they going after this? So if you kind of are writing this copy, if it's your job uh, to, and your task with writing microcopy, um, you can kind of write it in a vacuum sometimes if you're just looking at a static screenshot or design uh, prototype. It's better if, uh, if you're not the designer on the project, your designer creates like a clickable prototype so you as the writer can kind of go through the whole user journey yourself and kind of understand where the user was at and where they want to go as opposed to just looking at that one screenshot. The next tip is actually using screenwriter terminology, which is show, don't tell. And actually that's used in a lot of different uh, mediums, but in particular with screenplays, they often say, you know, don't use words to describe something that's happening if you can actually show it on the screen because film's a visual medium. It's kind of the same with your application. Uh, if, if the user can plainly see what something is, or if you can design something so it's obvious what the user's supposed to do, then you shouldn't have to use words to say it. For example, uh, you know, click on the button on the right to do this. Shouldn't be in your microcopy because you can just design the button so it looks like that's what you need to click to do the next thing. If you find that you need to write to uh, describe what the interface is supposed to do, that's when you kind of need to relook at the design itself. And maybe if you're not the designer on the project, talk to your designer and reevaluate 
uh, how it's laid out and the user experience so that the copy doesn't end up getting used as a crutch to overcome bad design. Make sure in your microcopy that you're using common words that everybody knows. So designers are kind of notorious for using uh, web terms like tooltip or radio buttons. And those are actually what they're called, but a user may not know that, especially if your user base is not necessarily really web savvy. So you have to make sure you're using buttons that they would understand, like select an option as opposed to click a radio button. We all know that people have very short attention spans and the, their attention spans are just getting shorter all the time. So whatever you write as a general rule, cut it in half, especially if somebody's using your web product, they're not there to read a book. They're not, uh, you know, commuting, reading an article for entertainment. They're really trying to get a job done. So it's really important to be extremely concise and to chop everything in half. Now, microcopy is a great opportunity to put your brand's voice uh, in your product, right? Like if you are very down to earth and funny on your marketing site, then you want that to kind of bleed over into your product. Slack is really good at this, the way they use microcopy for loading screens and error messages. They have you know, a great amount of wit that they use, but you have to be a little bit careful and use it judiciously because if a user's frustrated or they think there's a bug in your product, throwing a joke at them and uh, making them feel like it's their fault is only gonna frustrate them. So you have to be very careful in how you use humor and jokes in your microcopy. Those are my tips for writing microcopy. I hope that was helpful. If you're working on any digital products, SaaS products, if you're working with clients, uh, definitely use this as a resource and a guide moving forward. For any other uh, tips, for any qu other questions, be sure to email me at kyle at proposify.com and be sure to hit subscribe in YouTube so you get more videos coming your way. Thanks so much for watching.